This solder iron did work really good with this. This um, hand kit with the temperature gauge that worked really good with that solder, but the tip's okay. I'm going to show you what I just did today and yesterday. So, this the guy was talking about on the Ridge Adventures on YouTube. Here it is. See right there where I solder it? Got it on a washer. One of those kind of washers I'll show you. These washers right here, I use one of them. And I'll tell you the size of them. They're actually number six washers, number 48 quality. It's the kind of washer I used on this thing. But they actually fit this bolt screw. There it is. This is the 102 inch whip um, beam until we're building. This goes to the on nine foot sides, but it's still like 107 and 108 on this one. This is like 107. This one's on 108 inches here. I used grill glue on that. That's not, it's actually grill glue. You guys good focus on that. It's sealed with grill glue. And I'll show you the back of the connector how it did. So I had to solder this piece here, and there's a washer underneath this on the bottom where it's connected to the screw. I'll show you. There it is. Right there. There's a washer down below, and the wire is above, in the middle. You can actually see, down below there. Then, I'll take this off and show you what I have to do with this guy. What is it? Because what I did the first time to solder it, the white thing actually melted, but this white thing on the pop, usually will pop right off when you use a screwdriver. So I had to use grill glue the other day and line this up and it took 24 hours to dry with grill glue and that's how I did that. So I had to solder this the other day. This piece here. This piece has been soldered in the middle. So I use that same solder I showed you. And it goes up to 890 degrees, almost 850. So I had to solder that very quite good. Yeah, sorry, yeah. It's sealed with grill glue. It did a really good job on this. Now what I have to do is put this antenna with this piece here. We'll have to put it in this thing in the middle. It's gonna connect the, this piece is going to in here. On the bottom, I have to do some JB welding and glue it either way. And both of the wires will go this way and that way and connect it with a PVC pipe. And that's how I'm going to do it. Like Ridge Adventures video. What he did his, his is a similar one I did mine. Then, what I'm going to do, I got these brackets. And they're coming in now from China. They're going to look like this. It'll actually go like this to hold the pipe on the rotor, which I'm actually going to be doing. So it'll fit in this pipe and everything will be quite good. So I got the main piece done. All you need is to solder it. Make sure you're quite good. He didn't show you a lot of on the Ridge Adventures video. 
He only showed some in his video, but this gives you quite an idea. See the wire is in the middle down below, and the washer is on the bottom of the wire. So you put the washer on the bottom of the wire, and then you put the nut on top of it. Then you solder it on one of the sides. Make sure it's not connected on the washer with the solder. And it's quite good. So I'll catch y'all later. This is the homemade 102 inch beam, single beam antenna I'm building. And project won't complete till I get to all the other stuff I'll be doing. And plus I'll be running this on an analyzer probably tomorrow to check it out. Or probably want to get a 50 foot cable to hook up that to get an idea of the SWR to see what it looks like when I do some trimming down to 102 inches usually somewhere around there be okay so I give you guys some ideas you just make sure you design this and make sure you get a washer that goes on the bottom of this nut on this nut and the screw just make you guys some ideas of it here we go and you have a good week this week catch you all later and We'll do another video sometime soon we get more of this project that I'm about to show. So this is Foxman 362 World Radio. Have a good night. I'll catch you later. And we'll be doing another video real sometime soon.